Our Michigan Week continuing today, turning to the defensive side of the ball, national champion defensive tackle Chris Jenkins, the mutant, here with us. Thanks for the time, my friend. Absolutely. Appreciate you for having me. Well, we only have 15 days until the draft. Tell me, what has been the most exciting part of the process for you so far? I probably have to say the combine, you know, growing a lot and just watching it on TV and finally being able to be a part of it, you know, it was a, it was a surreal experience. So, you know, thankful for the opportunity and, you know, just, uh, just happy to, you know, get to the next step in my journey. And this has really been a family affair for you. We saw that very touching video of you and your mom after the Rose Bowl, but also, of course, your dad who played 10 years in the NFL. How do you describe getting to go through this process with him, but it being your turn this time? Uh, you know, like I said, we got this family motto where, you know, you got to pass the torch and I'm next in line. I'm the next generation. So, you know, there's a lot of pressure on me, you know, definitely to uh, make my own path and pay my own way. But I'm definitely excited to show the world the type of defensive tackle and the type of man I could be. So excited for it. Just a wrecking, wrecking ball there on that defensive line under head coach Harbaugh. He is famous for all of his quotes, quips, kind of sayings. Which Harbaugh-ism is your favorite? Um, definitely his bet, um, his acronym for bet. And um, if you're new to Michigan, you know, this season we use bet um, for the past few games. We were playing pretty much to set the tone, let everybody know um, that nothing's going to take us take us off of uh, storm. So he kind of used bet, he used that acronym for it. And he said bet means bringing everybody together. And, you know, it was kind of it was kind of funny for us because we didn't know it had an acronym until he said it. So, you know, after that, we kind of just rolled with it and we loved it. Yeah, that togetherness, you guys got that national championship. You have a unique perspective here as we look at some of the quarterbacks in this draft. Obviously, a teammate, J.J. McCarthy, but also going up against Michael Penix Jr. in that national championship game. Starting first with your former QB, what makes J.J. so hard to defend? Oh, because he's a freak in all aspects of the game. You know, not only does he have that vision, does he have that accuracy to get the ball to many different targets, um, but he also has that quickness, that speed, that elusiveness to get away from you, especially on pass rush. You know, his vision his vision is insane. And mainly just his love for the game, his passion, his ability to lead, you know, as a QB, as a teammate, you know, that's what really turns offenses and turns them and gets them to the next level to play for championships and compete. Another one of those QBs, as I mentioned, Michael Penix Jr., his name being tossed around as one of the top QBs, top five. When you think about facing him in Washington, what really stood out to you? Oh, for sure. Definitely his accurateness. Like he was definitely a very accurate QB, um, had the ability to scramble as well. But, you know, he could stay in the pocket and really get that ball where he wanted it to go. So we knew he was going to be a major threat playing against him and, you know, really honored to have played against him. He's an amazing quarterback as well. So, you know, he's going to and he's going to do great things in the league. Can't wait for it. This journey for you has just been so spectacular getting to this point. When you think about your name being called for the draft, you get to hang up the phone and know you're going to X team or this town will be your new hometown. What excites you the most about that prospect? I uh, really just that phone call because I just I just love the game of football. Uh, you know, not not a lot of people get to play at this level, so I'm honored. So just to be able to get, you know, hear that phone call, get my name called and being able to go, you know, wherever it is, I'm excited for that next step. And I just I just can't wait. Any kind of bet between you and your dad who might, if you get drafted earlier, like, is there something on the line here? You got to let us know. <laughs> well, there's not. We didn't have a bet going on, but there's definitely a little bit of pride on the line. I mean, we're going to see. I mean, obviously, it's going to be the beginning. This is the first step to hopefully a long journey for me. But, yeah, there's definitely going to be a little bit of trash talk going on. <laughs> I would expect nothing less. Well, we also hope is a long journey for you, Chris. We appreciate the time and good luck in the draft. Absolutely. Thank you again for having me.